I'm actually going to demonstrate um, how I'm making my graduation cards. I'm going to use uh, just one of these regular plain um, uh, cards that you get like at Michael's or at Hobby Lobby. Um, what I'm gluing here is actually out of a chemistry book. Um, I like to use uh, the textbooks um, as part of uh, the graduation cards when I'm putting them together. I'm just going to glue this right onto my card just to begin with here. And then we'll go from there. Um, I've put down just a little bit of green paint um, and that is dry. And I'm actually going to use a little piece of this tissue paper um, here and put over the top. Um, I really like the colors that are on this one um, really well. And I'm going to uh, put it down using um, some gloss uh, varnish, um, actually, uh, from, from Liquitex. I'm just going to put a little uh, dab onto my card here and kind of move it around with my paintbrush um, in the areas that I want um, the tissue paper to adhere. Um, it's actually easier to use uh, this matte medium or gloss medium um, versus a uh, glue stick. I'm going to kind of leave that edge open and stick my tissue paper down. Now I actually like to um, leave a little extra and fold it over um, onto the other side of the card here. So we're just going to stick this down and I've got that edge up at the top kind of hanging over. Um, and I'm just going to put another little da uh, dab here onto the inside and then I'll glue this down um, on the inside. And again, um, sorry, it is the gloss medium. Um, I would use the matte medium, but mine's basically out. So you, the gloss does the same. It just provides a little bit glossier finish if you were using it um, to seal a painting. Um, but it does the same, same thing. So we'll just stick this onto the inside here, and then we'll go from there. Now I'm actually, um, I really like that blue turquoise really well. Um, that is the Delusion inks though. Um, so I'm not going to hit or touch that anymore with my paintbrush because uh, I don't want it to blend or bleed any more than it already is. So we're just going to let that dry and then go to our next step. Now my next step here is to actually put down a little bit of this uh, polka dot paper here. I kind of like adding a little strip. Um, I like it to be kind of wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. Um, and uh, we'll stick this on like this. Now the one thing you want to watch for is make sure to keep track of where your seam is for your card so that you can um, get your little strip of paper where you want it. And again, I'm just going to use a, a regular glue stick here um, and attach mine. And I know it's a little bit longer than my card, but we'll just fold that over um, into the inside and we'll call that good. So like I said, I'm just going to get this marked at the top and glue that down. And we'll just flip that little tab in. And again, I like that really well. Now we're going to sew on this in just a moment. Um, so you want to make sure that, um, that it dries real well here before you go to the next step. Um, and I think what I'll probably do is do a little zigzag, um, but again you want to make sure that the card is very well dry before you um, go and put that through your uh, sewing machine. So I'm going to do a little zigzag over the top of that. Um, and right now I'm just trying to figure out, um, I normally put down uh, the year that the child is graduating. Um, I've got a 2014 uh, little stamp here. I got I can change the years out. Um, and I'm just using stays on ink. I'm just going to look and see here for a good spot um, so that I, I kind of like where it's at. We'll stick that on there. And then I'm just going to sew around that, kind of bringing um, a little more texture um, and a little more prominence to that year. That's where we're going to kind of sew around when we're when we're doing the sewing. So um, we'll take a peek here and and see how the sewing goes. So I'm at the sewing machine. 
and you can see that uh, my sewing machine actually has got a little paint on it. Now when I put this in, um, just like sewing on fabric, I'm going to select my stitch here and I'm actually going to use the zigzag. And I'm going to go back and forth just like I normally would on fabric just to make sure that that uh, stitch holds. Um, so I just went back and forth and now I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way down this strip with my zigzag and especially again go back and forth just a little bit just to hold that and call that good. I'll just trim off the threads and we'll be good to go. Now I had a little technical difficulties so I'm going to demonstrate um, again just some regular stitching um, on another card here that I've got all prepared. Um, this one has previous stitching on it um, but again I want to um, focus on the year so I'm actually going to do uh, stitch around that year again. We're just going to do a little circular stitch, uh, straight stitch, uh, right around that year. And again, um, just make sure that your card is nice and dry. Um, it really doesn't matter, you know, layers of paint or paper, um, as long as um, as long as it's dry is kind of the biggest thing. So again, we're just going to sew in kind of a circle. Um, I'm not really caring, you know, about um, making sure it's even, uh, making sure I'm even being round each time. Um, I am just wanting to get um, the texture and the stitching onto my card is really all I want. And um, again, just to tie in that other stitching, I'm just going to go right over the top of the other ones and go... Uh, like I said, and kind of a nice big circle just to kind of pull this whole card together. Now when I get up here to the corner, I like doing kind of a little zigzag out to the corner. So I'm actually going to go back and forth here just a little bit to draw into that circle that we just got done sewing. So just back and forth. Again, I'm just going to use front and back stitch just to uh, get that onto my card here back and forth and kind of pulling my card along, kind of moving it, pushing it um, so that I can uh, get that effect that I'm looking for. Just working the back and forth and coming all the way out to the corner there. And then again we're just going to trim those uh, threads off and you can see how it, I get this kind of nice little zigzag um, stitching um, that kind of leads the eye right into that circle and right into the ear. So here is um, that finished card. Again, kind of shows the year and, and the circles around. I like how they don't necessarily all match up. They're not even. Um, just uh, I just like the circles and the little edging um, out to the corner there. And then I'll show you that other card um, that we had started with. Um, this again um, was the first one that we'd started with. Um, I didn't do circles this time, I just kind of went around in a half circle. Um, using the back and forth stitch on this, you'll see that you know some are, are normal um, and then some kind of have a little bit of a pull. That was that back stitch and again I don't, it doesn't bother me. I like the added texture um, that the different stitches provide. So thank you very much for watching.